I'm James Bailey, presenter, journalist and sports fanatic and this is my showreel. I'm James Bailey and these are this week's sporting headlines. As a journalist I worked for The Mirror and The Mail, uh, The Daily Express and various other regional titles sort of a generalist reporter, so covering, you know, really hard hitting topics like crime uh, through to, you know, more glossy um, celebrity type stories as well. Lewis Hamilton is one of the greatest Formula One drivers of all time. He's won seven world titles, a record he shares alongside Michael Schumacher. And in 2021, he achieved 100 career wins. But who is Lewis Hamilton off the track? What makes him tick? Well, I'm going to find out. Now, Manchester City saw an unlikely hero emerge from their galaxy of superstars to make a potentially defining contribution in their pursuit of an unprecedented fourth Premier League title. Pep Guardiola rightly acted with caution when he removed keeper Edison with City leading 1-0 after he suffered a nasty blow to the head in a heavy collision at the foot of his post with Tottenham defender Christian Romero. When I started to have a fascination with football. It was because my dad was taking me to matches, would, um, would encourage me to play in the team, and it was a way of bonding not only with my dad, but with um, all the players on the team. So my top players to watch out for this season would be Liverpool's Darwin Nunes. It's his third season in the Premier League, and it's really make or break for him this season. Secondly, I'd say Jamie Vardy, Premier League legend, just been promoted with Leicester City. Has he got one final hurrah, and can he even be the Premier League's top scorer? We'll see. And my third choice, Bakaya Saka. He's been that level just below the real elite in the Premier League. Can he go that step further and perhaps lead Arsenal to their first Premier League title in over 20 years? Now, Edison, who had a problem with his eye, did not look happy with the decision, taken upon advice from the club doctor. But his manager was perfectly justified, not just being in the best interest of the Brazilian keeper, but also because he has already made replacement in City's number two, Stefan Ortega. Now, summer is almost upon us, so many of us are thinking about getting into shape. And luckily, there are lots of different ways, different clubs, different schemes that you can join to lose those extra pounds. Well, I've got quite a broad spectrum of interests. I uh, founded this magazine called Attaboy, and that's about sort of breaking down um, male stereotypes, sort of trying to eradicate toxic masculinity and encouraging men to, you know, be their positive, authentic selves. A few features I've done in relation to that was a big deep dive into gaming disorder. During lockdown, a lot of guys were addicted to their video games once again um, because they couldn't go outside. So that was um, really interesting to speak to some of those people. More than half of London's adult population is classed as overweight or obese. Obesity poses major challenges, both to individuals' health and to the health services. But here's how you can turn things around. I've also got an interest in wine. It's taken me all over the world, going to some fascinating vineyards, and each wine has a different story, particularly as it's made um, from a unique winemaker with their own unique perspective, terroir, and um, yeah, great varieties. And the truth about food, we get to examine how what we eat can completely change our lives. And in today's show, we're going to speak to Colin Jackson as he swaps his favourite diet for that of some vegetarian martial arts experts. <laughs> 